Harley hitting switches in the low lower cruise of Harley. We hang out. All y'all scatter when I pull when I pull the ring out. You don't know me, I shout my name out. Try to test me, boy. East side, west side, we get them up. Any enemies, gas who set them up. You a friend of me, guess who let them up? Take my stack seat. Take my stack seat. Take my stack seat. If you head a few miles north on 295 from our nation's capital, you'll find FedEx Field, the NFL's largest stadium, and its team has some of its most loyal fans. Welcome to Landover, Maryland. Tom Hammond here, and beside me, Chris Collinsworth. We're looking forward to a solid Week 2 matchup between the Redskins and the Rams. This secondary is tough. Yeah, maybe they give up a few plays underneath, but very rarely do they give up any big plays. When you're talking about strategy, I'd have to say this guy is one of the very best in the NFL. He just simply knows how to beat you. We have perfect weather today. Clear and mild, great for football. This game is presented by Snickers, who reminds you to be a champion. Makes it out to about the 27 yard line. They'll start at the 27 yard line. Here's the throw. Makes the catch. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense. Set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Comes down with it. No gain on that completion. That'll make it second down. Rolling right. Ryan Arakpo had the coverage on the play. Third and ten coming up. And they really forced him to throw that one before he had a chance to read the coverage. You know, typically when they blitz, you end up in one-on-one -on -one coverage, but you have to have time to throw the ball. It'll go out at the 30. The offense will take over at the 30. Here's the give. He breaks the tackle. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Fortis picks up about seven yards on the run. He rolls out to the right. Clinton Portis was his intended target. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Again with the carry. The tackle was made by Carriker. That was a poor series for this offense. Yeah, the defense barely had to even break a sweat on that one. Defensively, when you can take an offense and get them off the field in three plays, that's pretty good stuff. He takes it to maybe the 36-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. He's sacked. Well, at least the play will only result in a two-yard loss. In the league now, we are seeing some of the best athletes in all football playing the defensive end position. And if you can't get them blocked, you're going to have to start thinking about chipping them with a back or putting a tight end over there. A rock boat tackles him for a loss. Oh, man. 31. Rolls right. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Antoine Randall-L is back deep to receive. 
Randall L. takes it at the 25. Gets to about the 41. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. On the ground with a tailback. He's tackled at the 46-yard line by Ryan. Clinton Portis can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. Yeah, yeah, Just gets it away. A pickup of four. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Tiger, Tiger. Tosses it out. Ryan was there on the tackle. Fortis gains around three yards on the run. He passes short. Wow, when I see a play like that, I'm thinking there's a definite lack of confidence somewhere along the way. He looks like he's a little timid or his receivers thought he wasn't gonna make the play down the field or something. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Short pass, there for the catch. Now let's give a little credit to the coaching staff on that play. You talk all the time about film study and preparation and knowing what the other team is trying to do to you. That time the defense was all over. And he will lose yardage on the play. One of the tough things about trying to get a quarterback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. At the 40, down the sideline. The stop was made by Leron Landry. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. Landry is there on the tackle. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Leron Landry was there to bring him down. Here's the pass. Burton with his third reception. First down now and 10 to go. He throws right. Brings it in. They take him down, but not before he gives the Rams a first and goal. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. The halfback with the carry. The Rams get into the end zone first. The thing you love to see about this halfback is he always keeps his legs moving and churning no matter what. Even if he's getting hit, he's never stopping. Brown tacks it on to make it a seven-point game. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He'll down it in the end zone. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Graf drops him for a loss at the 19. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. 
Well, they got away with that one. Really not a very good play throwing back across your body like that, but <laughs> every once in a while you'll sneak that in. They give it to the tailback. Chris Long is there on the tackle. Chalk up a big gain and a first down for the ball carrier on that big play that time by a talented player. You can tell in those tough clutch situations, he wants the ball in his hands. Passes on the move. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Throws it short, and he caught it. Jason Campbell is really feeling it right now. He's got the hot hand, and you know, normally he's not a guy that's going to hit a bunch of passes in a row, but he's hot right now. Again with the carry. To the 20. To the 10. Brought down near the goal line. What a run that was. I really thought he might be gone there, but they were finally able to chase him down. Pitch out. He tries to spin and he is dropped. They get three yards on the play. That brings up second down. They hand it off. He's hammered in the backfield. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback. But that time he uses athleticism to make a big stop in the run. They will be short. Look like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. It's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. So that will make the score the Redskins three, the Rams seven. Gets to the 26. The Rams put together a really impressive drive that last time out. You can just see how confident they are right now. Let's go now. Let's go. Look. Gives to the back. Tackle was made by Rocky McIntosh. A gain of six yards, and that will bring up second down. He can't bring him down. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really puts some pressure on this group up front. Dumps it out left. Out of bounds, incomplete. You bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. Randall L. is back deep to return. From the 50. Still going. He makes it out to the 30-yard line. The Redskins did come away with three on that last series, but defenses typically know if they hold teams to field goals, it's to their benefit. Fortis on the inside handoff. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes, and that time there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. They hand it off again. And he's depleted at the 35-yard line. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Gets the pass out. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Washington. The Washington Redskins used just three plays to go 70 yards. Jason Campbell really delivered the goods that time. Wow, he made the perfect choice, and now they're celebrating six points. Washington has a three-point lead. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 31. 
Their last drive ended with a three and out. Jackson takes it up the middle. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. After one quarter of play, the score is the Redskins 10, the Rams 7. Gets the ball away. He's there for the catch. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, St. Louis. That's the kind of pitch and catch you just love to see in the NFL. And the difference is these quarterbacks' abilities to zip it into little tight spaces, and these receivers don't miss. St. Louis holds a four-point lead. Drop at the 25. The Redskins looking for another seven on this drive. They're still behind, but they can build on the momentum of that last drive if they can put one together here. He gives it off. The stop was made by O.J. Atagwe. Clinton Portis with some very solid running that time. If there is an opening to be found on the defense, this guy is going to find it and exploit it. Second down now, following the incomplete pass. Second down. Let's go get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. He's still going. This is one of those guys you just love watching him run the football. His footwork, his balance, but especially his determination. He just does not want to be tackled. Tackle was made by Draft. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The Rams took full advantage of their last offensive opportunity with that touchdown. Now we'll see if they can extend that lead with this drive. Pass is complete. Rocky McIntosh was there on the tackle. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. Short throw to the right. Tackle was made by London Fletcher. A gain of six yards on the play. Picked up about six yards there for the first down, and that's a quarterback and receiver really understanding the defense. They saw what the defense was giving them, and they simply took it. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. Yeah. Holding. So the penalty puts them back for a first and long. Passes the ball. Ryan Arakpoat was there on the tackle. Boy, that's just a special play right there. You see these great athletes on occasion. The ball's thrown up, and it's just a jump ball, go get it kind of situation. And he went up and made a great play there. Those are the kind that quarterbacks don't soon forget. Steven Jackson makes his third catch of the game. He was hit. Rodgers has it. The defense makes something happen to force the game's first turnover. From their own 45-yard line. Throws it. Bartell intercepts it. 
The stop was made by Chris Cooley. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. He makes his way to about the 32. Landry makes the tackle. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32. Feeds it to the back. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Pittman gets three yards on the carry. Jackson left side. He's going to be tackled for a loss. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football play. Gets the pass away. Just set him down and do what you do. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. Yes, he got there. Hands it off. Robert Thomas is there on the tackle. Jackson gets about four yards on the play. Passes it. Almost picked. Ron Landry was defending on the play. Passes it out. And he's out of bounds. Incomplete. Under pressure. He felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. He's got it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Josh Brown is good on the try, and they take a seven-point lead. Hit and dropped at the 27-yard line. Their last series was a downer, but this is a chance now to come back out and prove that you're not going to dwell on that. Just pick up a couple of first downs and... The last thing in the world they need right now, though, is a three and out. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. Campbell hands it off straight ahead. Fortis gains about four yards on the play. He throws short. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. And that incomplete pass will probably lead to the punting unit coming out onto the field as they go three and out. Not a very creative sequence of play calling that time. They just never seem to get anything going on that drive. Stanley fields it at the 30. He's tackled at the 37. The Rams come out looking to get another scoring drive going here. They got three last time. Feeds it to the back. Jackson gets six yards on the play. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. Throws it. It's incomplete. A missed chance to make a big play there. He seemed to get a little too excited and just made a really poor throw. Gets the pass off. And it's knocked loose. Steven Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. 
Antoine Randall L is the deep man awaiting the return. This one's gonna go out of bounds at the 34 yard line. They'll start at the 34. He throws right. No one can come up with it. Santana Moss was the intended receiver. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw, any time, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Pitch left. Sheds one tackler. Portis gets about four yards on the play. Short pass to his left. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Stanley is the return man. Stanley fields it at the 24. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Throws it short. Falls incomplete. Jackson was his intended target. Jackson on the right side. Still on his feet. He lost yardage on the play. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover but the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Burton can't make the catch. Fourth down. The Rams lining up to punt. Antoine randall will be the return man. randall takes it at the 25. He makes it out to the 41-yard line. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. Gets the pass away. Devin Thomas makes it five catches for the game. The counter. Graf makes the tackle. Fortis picks up about four yards on the play. Portis on the right side. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Throws it out. Right, it. And it's completed. O.J. Atagway is there on the tackle. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time the quarterback able to take advantage. Campbell hands it off straight ahead. A pickup of about seven. That'll bring up second down. Slides down. The Redskins have decided that they're going to come out and run the ball on this defense, and so far there's no sign that they won't succeed. Redskins. The Washington Redskins take it 60 yards in seven plays. When you talk about guys who can make people miss, his name is right at the top of that list. Really incredible elusiveness, especially in tight spaces. Drop at the 35. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, let's do it now. Hey, let's go. They go with the run. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. Hey, 
Defender gets his hand on it. Rocky McIntosh had the coverage on the play. The pass is away. Landry picks it off. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Redskins. You know, it's bad enough offensively to throw an interception, but you can't let the guy run down the field for a touchdown. You have to turn into a defensive player at that point. They did not make that transition. John Sweezum adds the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He'll return it from the 6. He'll bring it back to the 30. Coming off the interception in the last drive, no reason to really change anything. One big mistake doesn't change this ball game. Just get right back to your game plan. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. Passive. Rodgers gets the pick. They can't bring him down. Nicely done. That's his second interception of the game. I really like the way he plays the corner position. You can see the anticipation. Here's the throw. Tip pass and picked off. What a game he's had. That's his second interception thus far. And boy, I tell you, there just isn't a tougher position on the defensive side than playing cornerback against some of the greatest athletes in the world. Oh, here's the pass. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Dumps it out right. The stop was made by London Fletcher. Steven Jackson with his fourth catch of the game. The Rams will take their first time out of the half. Two yards away here on second down. Him as he passes. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. He throws right. Carter was the intended receiver on the play. Randall L. is back deep to return the punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Redskins will start this drive at the 20. They'll give it off here. He fights forward to about the 23. O.J. Otagwe was there on the tackle. Campbell will hand it off. James Florinitis makes the tackle. Portis gets three yards on the play. Up the middle with a fullback. Stays on his feet. The Redskins get another big game there. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with what they're doing right now in the running game. Fullback on the inside gear. The Redskins call a timeout, and that was their last timeout. He'll get it again. Laurinaitis was there on the tackle. Laurinaitis cracks him down, wraps him up for tackle number five. Throws short. 
Time for a short break as we send you to the studio for stats and highlights. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Let's get you caught up on what's happening around the league. We'll take a look at the scores from other action. Here's a look at the top performers from around the league. Chris Johnson has rushed for over 75 yards. Taking a look at the stats from your game now, Washington racked up over 350 yards in the first half. Clinton Portis has rushed for over 125 yards. Washington leads it by seven. Top plays from the first half, here you go. second half is about to begin. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to FedEx Field. This one's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. They'll start at the 20. Long will tackle him for a loss at the 19-yard line. Well, those defenders get paid, too, and every once in a while, they win the battle. Clearly, that time, they were all over this offensive line. Gets the pass out. James Butler makes the tackle. Very clean game played so far. No penalties, and we're now in the second half. Gets the ball away. There for the reception. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. Off balance pass, picked off. Inside the 30. To the 10. Clinton Portis was there on the tackle. The Rams' defense has three picks in the game. Jackson takes it up the middle. Well, there certainly was no mystery to that play. Just power offense against power defense, and the offense won the battle there. Josh Brown adds the extra point, and we're all tied up. Here's your sprint drive summary. This one's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins want to get better results from this series. Their last one ended with a turnover. They hand it off. Still pushing. Clinton Portis really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. Set, set. 
crushed as he threw. At the 40, at the 30, to the 10. Touchdown, Washington. Well, we're certainly not at the end of this game, but we're at a very significant part of it, and that was a big touchdown right there to put him up six. John Sweezum packs it on to make it a seven-point game. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to the 28-yard line. The Rams ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Feeds it to the back. Fletcher makes the tackle. That's four yards on the play. That brings up second down. Gives it off. He's dropped for a loss. The Rams continue to get beat off the ball. Their linemen look tired. They're physically outmatched. And it's beginning to take a toll on these runners. I'm not sure how many more times they want to carry the ball. And the pass is incomplete. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there. And I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. <laughs> it out to the 43 yard line. The Redskins looked very strong that last offensive possession. They capped it off with a touchdown. Those are exactly the types of drives coaches love to see unless you're on the defensive side. Makes the short throw. Bartell is there on the tackle. Chris Cooley makes his third catch of the game. Handoff on the draw. He gets out to about the 45-yard line before he's hit and dropped. Yeah, he really didn't have an opportunity to break that one, but at least he was able to get enough for the first down and move the chains. Tackle was made by Chris Long. Fortis gets seven yards on the play. They'll need about three yards here on second down. He needs to get the pass off. Passes the ball. Laurinaitis was there to bring him down. The Redskins are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection is solid, and the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. Throws it. It's tipped away. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. Second down. On the ground, up the middle. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. It's there for the catch. Still working. The Redskins are putting together a good looking drive here. That's their third first down. It's first and ten. Inside handoff. Betts gains about five yards on the run. This is the ninth play of this drive. Short pass to his left. He's in for the score. And that'll be his third scoring strike of the game. Three touchdowns on the day now. Not perfect today, but certainly an impressive passing performance. John Sweezum is good on the point after. 
Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Fielded at the four. He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The offense has to find a way to put some points on the board, and it has to start happening now. Escapes the pressure. Keeps looking. Andre Carter records his second sack of the game. Gets the pass away. The stop was made by London Fletcher. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. Fletcher was defending on the play. So it's fourth down. The Rams lining up to punt. He fields the punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Redskins are looking like a confident bunch on offense right now. If they can put together another touchdown drive here, they'll have a significant advantage. Campbell hands it off. Butler makes the tackle. The Redskins have shown dominance in the ground game. They're not letting up one bit. They'll probably look to keep pounding it. So they can tire out this defense in the fourth quarter. Passes it. Makes the catch. The Redskins have been unstoppable when they go to the pass. You'd think the defense would make some kind of adjustment at halftime, but so far that just doesn't seem to be the case. Again with the run. Still going. They grab 10 yards there, and that will bring up second down. He fights forward to about the 39 before several defenders bring him down. down with it. The stop was made by Bartell. Chris Cooley with his fifth grab of the game. He throws left. Drops the easy hit. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. He'll get it again. He gets to about the 11-yard line. Ty Hill makes the tackle. Yeah, really not much the defense could do there. The backside really blocked down. They came around to the play side with those big offensive linemen. That one looked easy. Betts picks up two yards with the carry. Passes it out. King was there on the tackle. No penalty is called in this one. No sightings of the referees. This is my kind of a football game. Tries for the end zone. Broken up. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. The Rams will begin this drive at the 20-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's starting to show some frustration after another short game. This defense has really made a tough going. Short throw to the left. 
Steven Jackson now has five catches. Third and five. Ball on the 25. Throws it. He goes up high for the catch. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. They hand it off. Jackson fumbles it. Who's going to come up with this one? Orton gets his hand on it and scoops it up. The Redskins come away with the football. Definitely a battle going after that fumble, but this is a guy who makes his living knocking people around in the secondary, so no surprise he made that play. We could easily be watching history in the making the way this guy's running today. They'll give it off here. To the 10. Is it a touchdown? The call is touchdown. The Redskins make it happen in just two plays. Good way to spend great field position. Impressive play that time. Not only did he understand what the defense was trying to do to him, but his vision enabled him to find the hole and make a big play. Runs over Tackler. The Rams are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they've dug themselves into. And at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. Flips it out short. The stop was made by Griffin. Good defense all over the field that time. They had the deep routes covered. And when they tried to dump it off to the tight end, they were on it. Gets the pass off. Tackle was made by Fletcher. Eight of five through the air. Hey, no need to force it. He just took what the defense gave him there, found the open man, and picked up a few yards. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one is the Redskins, 45, the Rams, 24. The Rams are looking at a three-possession deficit as we start the fourth quarter. Tips it away. Fourth down now after that incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during that last series. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. Dumps it out right. Stanley makes his third catch of the game. It's first and ten. They hand it off. Breaks a tackle. Gains his way to the 39-yard line before he's dropped by a host of tackles. Second down now, following the incomplete pass. Service the club level, and thus only guests holding a club level ticket may utilize the escalator. Huge pressure by the defense. Yeah, they brought the blitz, and the offensive line just unable to pick it up that time to force the incompletion. Short throw. He breaks the tackle. Jackson picks up about five yards with the catch. Gets the pass away. 
Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball. Just a little too wide on that one. Hands it to the back. Little will drop him behind the line at the 33-yard line. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Fortis gets another handoff. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. Campbell hands it off straight ahead. The stop was made by Wade. That series has to be disappointing for the coaching staff. Yeah, their poor defense didn't even have time to go over and get a glass of water. All of a sudden, the punter's back on the field, and the defense has to go play again. He fields the punt at the 20, and he's drilled. What a hit. They'll set up shop at the 25. Throws it out. There for the catch. The tackle was made by Fred Smoot. That last catch puts him over 100 receiving yards. And one of the things I like watching about this receiver is that he understands how to read coverages. More often than not, a wide receiver has to understand reading coverages at least as well as the quarterback. Otherwise, the quarterback will see one thing and the receiver another. Second down. The pass is away. Leaping catch. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. And if he can get just a little bit more time, there are guys running open down the field. The pressure is getting close, but it's not there. He should take a fraction longer to make that throw. Throws it deep to the end zone. And yeah, that's a great job by the defense that time, getting pressure, because if he had about one second more, he would have found the open receiver for the score. Barely gets that one off. And the defender intercepts it. So they come up with another interception. This is about the time where the quarterback comes walking off the field and one of his own defensive players will look at him and go, uh, you want to try and throw one to our guys for once? Passing. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. James Butler had the coverage on the play. Here's the give. Herricker drops him for a loss at the six. Yeah, defensive linemen aren't the big fat guys that they used to be. These guys are athletes. They can move, and if you don't fool them on the delay, they're going to be standing right there in the face of the running back. The stop was made by Law. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. He makes it out to the 40-yard line. The Rams will set up shop at the 40. Got it off, barely. The tackle was made by D'Angelo Hall. The tight end did a good job here selling the block and then going out into his route and making the catch for a decent gain on the play. Passes to his left. Still on his feet. Randy McMichael with his third reception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. He passes short. The stop was made by Brian Arakpo. 
Yeah, Ooh, really like not that. much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play, and a guy makes a throw like that. You go, hey, that's a good throw. Hopfenstein has six. Wait, the officials will huddle. The call is not a touchdown. First and goal, about a yard to pay dirt. It's the tailback. Well, you never like to be behind at this point in the game, but clearly you can see that they're starting to find something now with the running game. They're starting to establish a little dominance up front. Just over five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and our score, the Rams, 31, the Redskins, 45. Won't be stopped. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. Let's go do this. Let's get it done. Hut, playmaker, step up right now. Hit as he throws. Randall L. increases his receiving yardage total for the game to 100. Clearly, he came into this one ready to show his stuff. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Laurinaitis records his eighth tackle. Hey, we're going to do what we do. Tackle was made by James Butler. They gain five yards there, and so it'll be third down. Here's the throw, brings it in, caught and dropped. If you're going to try and stop a tight end from catching those types of balls, you have to get physical with him at the line of scrimmage. If you give him free releases, he's going to wear you out. Portis takes it up the middle. Still on his feet. Ty Hill was there to bring him down. Portis gets six yards on the carry. Another run. They can't bring him down. Touchdown, Washington. And you can start to see the frustration in the defense's body language. I always thought that was such a weird term, body language. What is that? Your body talk. But you can see just watching these guys on the field that their shoulders are slouching and they are getting upset. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. Short throw to the right. Arak Lotus makes the tackle. Burton now with four catches in the game. Here's the pass, and he caught it. The stop was made by Horton. He's now over 100 yards receiving in the game. This is just one of those guys that can get separation. He always has a little space between him and the defender, making it easy on the quarterback. And the receiver has room to run. Mark Bulger gets to 400 yards passing for the game. He's making all the right reads, and the defense doesn't have the answer. Gets the pass out. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. The Rams are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. He'll try the end zone. Second down now following the incomplete pass. That includes countless membership He throws right. Touchdown, St. Louis. 
Well, when you have a halfback like that that can catch the football, play calling gets a lot easier. It's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. With just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is the Rams 38, the Redskins 52. The Redskins recover it. They're already down two scores, and now they have to defend a short field. If this team can come away with any points at all, this one's just about wrapped up. Hands it off. Tackle was made by O.J. Atagwe. Portis comes away with five yards on the carry. Clinton Portis makes it 75 rushing touchdowns for his career. Campbell hands it off. James Butler is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. The stop was made by Adam Carriker. The old change up on that when you start paying too much attention to the quarterback and the halfback, and the fullback just pounds one in there for a first down. Give to the tailback. Still moving. Tackle was made by James Butler. Fortis gains around eight yards on the run. That's all I need, baby. That's all I need. Second and two. Ball on the 19-yard line. They hand it off. Hit and drop behind the lines. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Another run. Fortis gained around six yards. That'll be enough to get the first. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. They take a knee. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tagger! Tagger! Let's go, baby. Turn it up. Over top, over top. Two straight, two straight. Let's go, you're up. Let's go. Let's go get it. We're going to take it out of here for you. Let's go. Again with the carry. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line before he's dropped. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. They go with the kneel down. Fourth down. This field goal attempt will be about a 33-yarder. That'll do it from FedEx Field. Game stats and highlights are next.